my 25m wife 25f cheated on me with my brother 26m and i don't know what to do i 25m am married to my once wonderful wife 25f for two years we have known each other for seven years and been together for five we had a happy marriage but it hasn't been without its ups and downs like every other marriage my brother 26m has been living in california since he got into stanford after he graduated he got a job there and he's been there ever since he was here for a week for our mom and dad's wedding anniversary and my birthday which fall three days apart i started feeling something was wrong two weeks before he'd arrived my wife had been on a work trip to Le the week before and she had told me Thatch met my brother. I didn't find it weird as according to her they just had lunch and had caught up on each other's lives, and then went their separate ways. When she got back, she felt strange that she was distant, and keen on arguing over the most tiniest of things, for example, me buying a different soap than what she wanted. I apologized and ever offered to go and but her a new bar, Butch refused and said that I didn't care about hair in the slightest, and that I must have gone at it with seven women in the seven days that she was gone. She would smile and laugh while texting someone, and when I tried looking at her phone, wondering what the joke was, she'd scowl at me, calling me a freak, who wanted to invade her privacy, every chance I got. We were pretty pissed off at each other before the day we left to go to my parents' home. On the car ride there, we agreed to keep a show of happy cheerfulness as was expected from us by our family. We got there at around 12.30. I had to rush to the airport to pick up my brother as he landed at one end my parents' home was 45 minutes away from the airport. He was waiting for me at the gate. We chatted all the way home when the topic of my wife came up. He seemed suddenly a bit down, as if he was overcome with guilt. I sensed something was wrong so I asked him. He brushed me off and hair remained cheerful the rest of the ride back. We week went as was planned. Me and my wife kept up the pretense of being cheerful while we argued in whispers at night. I knew at this point that Shahad cheated on me while she was gone as I have faced that in a relationship before. Little did I know who it was with. The day of my brother's departure arrived. He had to get to the airport an hour early, so we left at around 4.30. As we were halfway there, he did thought they needed to talk to me about something. He said it was about my wife. I asked him what it was. He asked me to pull over first, which I did. He told me that during the week that she was in California. They had slept together. Aha, so she was texting her all the time. It was because of him that we were having the arguments. I almost punched him in the face. But I didn't. I needed to hear more. I think he saw the red in my eyes and he said that it was just a mistake. He planned on telling me the moment he got here but he couldn't. He loved me too much. If he loved me, he wouldn't have done this. I told him to get the fuck out of my car and find himself a cab. He was dead to me. I drove to my best friend's house. I explained everything to him and asked him if I could stay with him for the night. He said yes and I texted my mom saying as I won't be there tonight as a friend needed me. I think my brother told my wife that I know as she's been bombing my phone with texts and calls. Some of the texts read, where are you? Come home please, I really miss you. I need to talk to you now. Come home, I just turned off my phone and I'm writing this now. So now, I look to you, strangers of reddit. Please tell me what do I do? Do I confront her? Do I file for divorce? TLDR, wife cheats with my brother, brother feels guilty and tells me, I don't know what to do. I, M50, accidentally overheard my wife, F44, telling her psychoanalyst that she lost respect for me. It happened one day when I came home, and my wife was remotely talking to her psychoanalyst in an upstairs room. As I was going upstairs, I heard this phrase. She mentioned that the reason was thought he was working as a driver that the thing is, due to her job, we moved to a new country. In my home country, I had a well-paying job for which I don't have a license in this new place. So, I found a job as a driver where I wake up at 5 in the morning and drive a stressful heavy vehicle for 8 hours to earn one sixth of what she makes. In my home country, I made twice as much as she did. I spent days feeling very sad, and I was unsure whether to tell her that I had overheard. Ultimately, I decided to keep it to myself because, after all, it was something she had said to a psychoanalyst, and I had the misfortune of overhearing it. I ended up quitting the job and am looking for something better, preferably remote. But it's challenging, and I'm afraid I might have to go back to driving. I love my wife, and I know she loves me, but how do I move forward with the I lost respect situation? I, 27M, caught my girlfriend, 26F, having phone sex with her manager. I'm at 27 meters and my girlfriend is 26F. We have been together for three years. We live together in my house, and recently she has been drinking and will stay in her room playing Starfield. She wanted her own room to keep her stuff in there but we both sleep in my room and I went to my closet to get clothes to get ready to shower when I heard her talking with some guy, 
I never wanted to be that boyfriend that doesn't let her have friends. She has guy friends mostly all from work or from Xbox. But when I went to the closet, her room is on the other side and I heard something different. I put my ear toth wall to hear what I heard, and at first she was asking this guy that she heard that he was talking about fusing around with a different girl at work, and in her voice she sounded sad like as if they were dating and heard these rumors. This immediately had me upset, why does she care who this guy talks to? But shortly after sounding like HE was denying talking to the other girl in the end what sounded like him starting to talk sexually to her, and she was going on with it, pretty much just having phone sex and I began to hear her slightly moan in movement as if she was fingering herself. At this point I'm livid, and I went over to her room and opened up and yes she was fingering herself talking to this guy talking about doing sexual acts to each other. I confronted her, she was shocked, I am pretty much crying and fucking pissed. And I asked who TF is that, we had an argument. She sounded drunk. She was saying it just some guy who doesn't even live in the state, but then later I found out from her that it's her manager, so yes he does live in the state in the same town, and that he has a wife and kids at another town nearby. She kept saying but she hasn't fucked anybody, but this is still fucking cheating. During the argument, she claimed suicide because she has no family here, only in Cali, and I'm going to make her homeless. I had to hide my gun because I don't want her to do that. I fucking loved her we've been together for 3 years and we talked about getting married, she was the one who brought it up dot, but anyways the argument just went in circles. I say she cheated, she says she didn't fuck anyone, I say it's still cheating, she agrees and says she messed up, then says she was drunk, and this is the first time this has happened which I do not believe because her getting jealous of him talking to someone else, she's been snapchatting him for a while she says a month, when I caught her I told her to let me see her phone. I replayed a snap he sent her and he is asking to see a picture of her tits, which she replied to with a picture snap, they only sent PIT cure snaps. But I couldn't replay it. I don't remember this clearly but I think she replayed her own snap so I wouldn't be able to, I think it said, you replayed your snap, before she gave me the phone but it don't remember, and I asked what she sent but all she says is she doesn't remember. Anyway I couldn't sleep at home. Weird, her crying all night, I wanted her to start getting her stuff together to move out because it show her. I went to my parents she keeps telling me to come back, I eventually go back home. Next day, she if she can come into my room. And I hate this about myself but the realization of loneliness starts kicking in. And I said fine, she came in and started wanting to cuddle me and I let her, then I started cuddling her, into us kissing, making out then having sex. Afterwards we talked about it sorta, she cried because she says she messed up what we had, that I was perfect to her, and she's afraid of losing her job because her manager nosy found out, and also I told my parents when I stayed over there, is that weird? Because she also sounded made I did this, I did it because I waspist and I don't have anyone else I can talk to about this, so she says she gonna go back to Cal because she ruined everything. My dumbass pleads, her to not move back and to stay together. That's where we are at, we just tried forgetting it, and it back to as we were. We had a good relationship, going out of town, holding hands everywhere we go, always cuddling and every once in a while have sex, always ends up with us not being able to move, the bed's wet, and cuddling and sleep afterwards. When I'm with her I'm trying to forget what's happened. But when she goes back to work, where she see her manager mostly every day, or when I'm at work I'm just constantly replaying the scene of what I heard on what I caught her doing over and over in my head, and it's really fucking hard that someone I loved and someone I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, talking to someone this way pleasuring herself imagining doing things together. She was drunk but either way, I don't believe this is the first time this happened, and she works with the guy so how am I ever supposed to know she's done anything physically, I have no proof, and even worse, she's done this once, maybe she'll stop for a while but how do I know she ever do it again in the future or worse, and I'll probably won't be able to catch it next time. Any advice would be greatly appreciated if phone sex is a big deal, if you also believe this wasn't the first time from the conversation I heard about her manager talking to another county worker. And I cheaters will always bet cheaters. Thank you for reading all this if you got this far. TDLR, caught girlfriend of 3 years having phone sex with manager, pleasuring herself. She says this is the first time and it won't happen again, she agrees she messed up. We are still together but I can't forget the scene in my head and the conversation of her with this guy of her getting jealous that he is talking to another county worker, she says it's the first time but her getting jealous of him talking to someone else tells Methy have been snapping together more than just friends. She works with him, I need help if you think this isn't the first time based on that. If I'm stupid for staying with her, probably yes. I, M21, recently found out that my girlfriend, F20, of 4 years has been selling explicit content to random guys online. She recently went overseas to visit her family Andy stayed behind as I'm currently studying. While she has been away I've been using her PC for school stuff and 3 days ago got a Google Drive notee about storage shortage. After investigating, found a plethora of nude, explicit content to that I have never seen. 
that day I called her and asked about it. She told me that she only did it for money since she was desperate this was weird as had recently bought an iPad and told me she used the money to buy me my birthday gift, AirPods. She said she didn't want Toby a burden on her family and stopped three months ago that she said she never did it for emotional reasons and simply wanted to make some extra money. We have never spoken about anything along the lines of this and it comes as a complete shock to me. Worst part of it all was that at the picture she has taken where in my house when I was simply in another room. We have spoken about marriage and I currently live in a very conservative country so it's quite normal. We've always said how after we've studied on started working it would be something we are a bit interested in. She is a beautiful girl and probably out of my league. My heart is broken and I never in a million years thought she would do something like that. We also recently had an issue where she was staying up until 8 nights and playing games with some 30 yo guy that she has never even seen a picture of. I told her how this makes it so much harder for us to talk since she only wakes up at around 6 pm and then he's busy with family. What would you do in my situation? End things or try and fix the relationship. My GF, 31, is pregnant and the baby isn't mine. 30 meters. I met this girl back in September from online dating. We both weren't sure if we wanted anything serious. We met the first weekend and instantly hit it off. We hung out the next few weekends all weekend long. She lives 45 minutes away with her parents after moving back from Alabama not long before we met. She has two kids who go to their dad's house on the weekends, and decided to become exclusive. One night we get drunk and have sex without a condom. A week or two later she says her period hasn't hit for a couple weeks. We buy a pregnancy test and it's positive. She goes to first doctor APPT by herself to confirm pregnancy and they set up the first ultrasound appointment. We are pretty sure it's mine but she did have unprotected sex with an old friend from Alabama a few weeks before we met so there's a chance it isn't mine. I go to the ultrasound with her and see the baby and it was nerve-wracking, but exciting since I don't have a child. In the few weeks between this time I had asked her to be in our relationship and made it, Facebook official, and such. After the ultrasound we went to the doctor. At this point we had known each other a little over, 7 weeks. The doctor meets with us saying the baby a healthy and is 10 weeks old, give or take 2 days. We explain the situation to the doctor and she says there is no way that the baby is mine. It was a punch in the guide to both of us. We had to go our separate ways after and she said she'd give me time to decide what I wanted to do and she'd understand if I left. The guy from Bama is a poss and wants nothing to do with the kid. She decided she was going to have an abortion, in my head this was ideal, but I never pressured her one way or the other. Don't think I'm shitty. At the time she was jobless, carless, and lives with her parents son it ideal financially for her or me. She decides she can't do it. Around December I tell her I can't do support her and a new baby and I need to break up. We broke up but then I, I was drunk and lonely and tell her how I miss her. She tells Mesh got a job at Meyer and bought a cheap car and is giving the baby up for adoption and has a couple people interested. We get back together and everything is going great. She drives to me now and is working full time. Well just this week she tells me her parents guilted her into keeping the baby. So now I'm in the same boat but we're both significantly more attached to the other and she is 7.5 months pregnant and hormonal. I want to break up with her but don't know how to do it without crushing her. But at the same time it's not feasible to stay together. She'll have a newborn and we will rarely get to see each other since she lives at home and I have roommates who won't want a newborn keeping them up at night. Any tips of advice on how to break it to her and then how to move on from someone I still love, but the situation just isn't right.